scarcity doesn't just happen in the here and now. Scarcity is a consequence of decisions we've made in the past, and we can see its result over time and in the future. Water in Colorado has always been scarce. Decisions were made in the past to allocate water rights. For instance, a homeowner does not own the rainwater that falls on their roof. Should the homeowner collect this water, they would be breaking the law. The water belongs to farmers downstream, whose ancestors or previous owners laid claim 150 years ago. Decisions made then mean scarcity now for growing cities and subdivisions. This is also true of our personal decisions. The decisions we make now have consequences on our future decisions. Let me give you an example. The producers of this film have created this well-disguised time travel machine. And as you know, in movies, you can travel in time. So we are gonna go back to look at the me of the past and the decisions I made then to see how the me of the now and the me of the future have been influenced. Are you sure this thing's gonna work? No way! That's me 30 years ago, studying to become a teacher. I had to take out college loans, which I'm still paying back. Every month when I'm deciding how to spend my income, Part of that decision has already been made for me by him. Let's go into the future and see how the me of the present affects the me then. Oh yeah, that's me 20 years into the future. I've retired from education, and because I saved $10 a day by bringing a lunch, I've saved enough money to buy a classic Harley. I guess $10 a day over 30 years with compound interest is enough to buy a classic Harley. 